instances of educators paying to cheat on teacher certification tests, and an HISD employee was the ringleader of this crime. Yeah, that Zoom press conference wrapped up just minutes ago. Oh my God, have you heard this story? Houston. Authorities today saying there's at least 400 instances of educators paying to cheat on teacher certification tests, and an HISD employee was the ringleader of this crime. Yeah, that Zoom press conference wrapped up just minutes ago where the district says they had no clue about this investigation, only given a heads up shortly before the arrests were made with some of those district employees today, only for uh, local law enforcement to coordinate with HISD police for those arrests as because among the five charged in this alleged crime include a high school boys basketball coach who was a coach at an HISD school, as well as two assistant principals at HISD schools. Investigators saying that as a result of this alleged crime, there are now hundreds of teachers who cheated on their certification tests now in Texas schools. Now, uh, those charged include Vincent Grayson, the alleged ringleader in this alleged crime, and head boys basketball coach at Booker T. Washington High School in HISD, also charged. Tawana Guilford Mason, Nicholas Newton, an assistant principal at Washington High School, Darian Nicole Wilhite, and Lashana Roberts, the assistant principal at Yates High School, also in HISD. According to investigators, Grayson would allegedly charge teachers looking to pass certification $2,500. The teachers would show up for the test, show ID, and then leave. That's when Grayson would allegedly have Mason and Wilhite ask, act as test proctors and have Newton impersonate the teacher and take the test. Roberts was an alleged recruiter in the scheme. DA Kim Ogg today describing how widespread the alleged scheme was. The extent of the scheme will never be fully known. But we know that at least 400 tests were taken and at least 200 teachers falsely certified. Ooh. We know that the co-defendants collectively profited in the amount of at least $1 million. Now the DA's office is saying that as a result of the test cheating, yeah. two teachers who paid to cheat on that test have been prosecuted for sexual related crimes against children. Officials saying it was the alleged scheme that allowed the access to minors. Now the following people accused have all been charged with two counts of engaging in organized criminal activity in all face first or third degree felony charges that carry sentences ranging from two years to life imprisonment. Now, the district saying in that Zoom news conference just a short while ago that those HISD employees charged in this alleged crime are now on leave with pay, but they also say that they are relieved of their duties effective immediately. The Texas Education Agency sending me a statement just minutes ago saying that they will look into this and take proper action as they learn more about this investigation, which remains ongoing. I'm reporting live outside the Harris County Criminal Justice Center, Victor Hakobo, KHOU, Love News. Victor Hakobo with the breaking details. Oh my God, have you heard this story? Teachers cheated on the state's teacher certification. Thank you. Well, the Texas Education Agency, also known as the TEA, is reviewing allegations that hundreds of teachers cheated on the state's teacher certification test. But beyond that, they aren't saying much. We asked the agency to provide somebody for an interview. Benny, thank you. Well, the Texas Education Agency, also known as the TEA, is reviewing allegations that hundreds of teachers cheated on the state's teacher certification test. But beyond that, they aren't saying much. We asked the agency to provide somebody for an interview to share their thoughts on these allegations. And then we also sent them a list of questions, many questions you at home are asking us. However, they say they could not elaborate at this time. But this is still a very new and active investigation. So for more, let's go to KPRC 2's Real One Belogan live from the Harris County Jail, where those educators, Real One, remain in jail with details on the testing company. Yeah, Daniela, three of those educators are in the jail, the Harris County Jail behind me here. Two of them had their bonds reduced this morning, so at any moment they could be released. Three Harris County mugshots for Houston ISD educators charged with engaging in organized crime for an alleged teacher certification scheme.
The Harris County DA alleges the statewide effort led by Booker T. Washington basketball coach Vincent Grayson. Court records state Grayson intentionally and knowingly made false entry in a governmental record, namely a Pearson View Texas Educator Certification Examination. Pearson is one of two test vendors the state uses. According to the company's online promotional video, they have several safeguards around its testing centers to prevent events like this. Many programs require two forms of ID. For example, a passport, driver's license, or credit card. The company's spokesperson tells KPRC2 Public Trust is paramount, adding they are committed to integrity and professional certification and licensure testing and actively monitor, investigate, and report suspicious activity or anomalies to our customers. Their customer, in this case, the Texas Education Agency, which didn't comment on our specific questions regarding this video. It's, it's very troubling, right, because a teacher, especially teachers and coaches who, who help influence children's behavior, we count on them for their moral compass, right? A part of what they do goes beyond their mastery of their subject matter. I, I'd just like to remind everyone that um, my client is innocent until proven guilty, and we look forward to hearing more about the state's evidence, and we look forward to challenging that evidence and so that Ms. Roberts can... Hughes Bryce Newberry was there and has more on the fourth arrest now connected to this case. Former HISD educators trying to avoid the cameras Friday as they answered a serious allegations of a years long statewide scheme. The two on the left out on bond on the right now with a lower bond. This is a serious case because it involves education. We all know that a community is strong when the education system is strong. They're all three accused of helping teacher applicants pass certification exams, ending up in classrooms across the state without ever taking the test. This is who's who in this case. Former Booker T. Washington basketball coach Vincent Grayson is the accused ringleader. And according to prosecutors, he made more than a million dollars in this scheme because the teacher applicants would pay him 2,500 bucks to have someone else sit in their seat to pass the exam. Then these two assistant principals are also charged. LaShonda Roberts there on the left is accused of recruiting teachers and Nicholas Newton on the right is accused of taking more than 400 tests on behalf of teacher applicants. Then we've got Darian Wilhite and Taiwana Mason. She's not yet in custody, but they're the test proctors accused of taking bribes and then turning a blind eye to let all of this happen. What would your message be to people who have lost trust in Coach Grayson? Uh, my message would be what my father would say. I'm a product of a father who was a, a minister, who was a principal, who had to drive the bus when people didn't show up. He would tell us not to throw him away, but to reclaim him. And so we hope at the right period of time, if it becomes that the evidence is overwhelming, he would do it as all of us should do, accept responsibility and rebuild. But at this stage, we're not there yet. Grayson's defense team standing by his side as the well-respected basketball coach, now alleged kingpin, faces up to 99 years behind bars. Overnight, a fourth arrest in the scheme of testing coordinator Darian Wilhite, accused of accepting $250 cash payments from Grayson each time she'd let Newton test in an applicant's place. I know everyone is concerned and should be concerned about that. But let me just say this, too, that uh, the state has the burden of proving their case beyond a reasonable doubt. Prosecutors say their case relies on bank records and confessions from approximately 20 teachers who benefited. But so far, we still don't know who those teachers are or what school districts they work in, as the Texas Education Agency promises to pursue appropriate action against any educator involved. Bryce Newberry, KPRC2 News. Four hundred four hundred te applications, two hundred tests, twenty teachers confess. Bro, this horrible. And I'ma keep it funky all the way. Let me drop my seat so I could talk my shit. You know what I'm saying? Coming from somebody that just did sixteen years in education, bro. This shit sad. And I'm going to tell y'all why it's sad, bro. Who you think it's affecting? It's affecting our kids and our hood, bro. I remember, look, let me, let me talk my shit for a minute. Let me talk to y'all. 
I remember coming back to work after COVID. And I could and I could talk about this because I don't work for them folks no more. And I asked the kid, like, bro, what's your name? And that boy was like, June Bug. I'm like, bro, what's your name? He like, June Bug. I'm like, what's your last name? He ain't even know his last name, bro. He was in the fifth grade. He was trying to find his class. Bro didn't even know his last name because he had just went from what? Second grade to what? Third grade to fifth grade. Because he done missed almost two years of school because of COVID, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I and I ain't even blaming that for COVID. But what I'm saying is we got a lot of catching up to do. Our kids are already behind. And then y'all playing with them, putting unqualified people in positions of power over our kids, bro. Now, I ain't saying them unqualified teachers ain't smart enough or, or good enough people to educate these kids. But, bro, if you want to educate some kids, bro, go get your licenses. Go get your paperwork. Go get your qualifications, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or you work within the realms of those people that's not qualified. That's just what it is, dog. Like, and for y'all to cheat, bro, to fulfill y'all pockets, that's the worst thing you could do, bro. And you know what I'm saying? And I guarantee, like, a lot of that, you know, they was on his meat. They was riding his meat because, you know, he's an esteemed former athlete from the community. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this ringleader guy. And uh, he's also a coach. You know what I'm saying? And he led the school to their best record ever, 31 and 1, you know. But that's neither here nor there. You cheating the kids. You cheating the community. You cheating the state when you do stuff like this, bro. And it ain't affecting nobody but our kids. But you don't give a damn because you fat in your pockets. You retire. You move on. You start a business. You live a good life. You know what I'm saying? You ride around in your Bentley and all of that. But you don't give a damn about these kids who ain't getting the proper education that they deserve. The adequate education that's being paid for by the government. You know what I'm saying? But then y'all will be like, the school's underfunded. The schools be underfunded. Now the schools ain't underfunded. The schools be funded, bro, but the people in charge be playing with the money, dog. They pay themselves before they pay before they look out for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like some stuff will come in and mugs to take what they need off the top. I'm gonna take this for my son. I'm gonna take this for my daughter. All right, now get the kids at the school, the rest of that. But it shouldn't be like that, bro. Like, if it's something left over, then yeah, maybe give it to yours, you know, but. Let's get these kids what they want to get first. But all across our black communities, you know what I'm saying? I, I, and I'm going to keep it funky, bro. Like, I, I'm, tired, I'm tired of lying, G. I'm tired of lying. All across our black communities, we got too many people in positions of power, G. That's taking for themselves first. They rah, 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 rah. I'm for the people. I'm for the people. I'm for the people. But then you take for yourself first. You don't give to the people. You give to the people last. You take for you and yours first. You fat in y'all pockets, you fat in y'all coffers, and then you give to the people last. But we already ain't getting enough. We already not getting our fair share of everything. And so then that little, little one-eighth that we is getting, you got to snatch off that one-eighth. Now we ain't even can't even get that whole one-eighth because you got to take your, you take a half of, a, of an eighth. You know what I'm saying? We can't even get a quarter. And then you take half of the eighth. Like, that's crazy. And then you give us the rest. And then that's why we putting out crumbs. You know what I'm saying? But that's why we got to get active in our communities, bro. And we got to vote and put those good people in charge and not those popular people, bro. And I'm just thinking, like, how could this even happen? You know, uh, in the state that I worked in, in education, this could never happen. Like the way that they do the educational um, uh, qualification tests or whatever, uh, the test that you have to pass in order to be become a teacher, a certified teacher, the educational certification test, the way that the tests are even conducted, this couldn't happen. This wouldn't happen. You know, uh, it seems like, in Texas, you know, you could take the test at a local site and they were recruiting people and sending them in and letting them know. 
Like that's crazy. So the state of Texas needs to overall overhaul, which I'm sure they will after this incident. Um, uh, the way that they certification tests are being conducted. These folks need to be held accountable and they need to pay some restitution back to the hood, bro. Because they didn't all they it seems like apparently all they've been doing is take, 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 and take, take, and allegedly. You know. But they ain't been proven guilty. We're gonna follow this story though. And I'm gonna give y'all the updates on it. Let me know what y'all think, bro. But that's all I gotta say though. Like, bro, in education, we gotta put these babies first, man. Our babies is our life, our babies is our future, bro. And you putting qualified teachers in there. Who's gonna take care of us when we in a nursing home 15 years from now, 20 years from now, bro? Come on, man. Think. Stop saying you for the kids and really be for the kids, man. If don't nobody love you, I love you, man. Uncle Boo out, dog.